My name is Jan Peacock. I live in Halifax and I make video. I had a conversation with a friend of mine who's a painter who became intolerant to um, oils, oil paint and solvents and he had to teach himself how to work with acrylics until he could get healthy again. And uh, I said, oh, wh what was that like? And he said, oh, you just have to give yourself permission to make terrible paintings for a long time. And I said, try doing that every 18 months, shifting your tools, because that's what the history of working with video has been like. Um, really, I would just feel like I was at home with the medium and suddenly everything would change a totally different format, all new equipment, different ways of editing. So, um, you know, it's, uh, it's not something you can ever feel that you're mastering in, in the traditional sense of an artist mastering a medium. Um, I've never felt able to do that. And I think that too has given me a weird kind of permission to, you know, like no, <laughs> There's, there's nothing authoritative here because it's constantly in flux and constantly evolving. So um, I think there's just as few rules now as there were when I started. I do a lot more improvising now and collecting material on the fly and not even being very clear about the reasons that I'm collecting it, uh, working much more like uh, an artist in a studio works where ideas may flow in ways that you don't understand until you process them later. My reasons for telling stories or for using stories as, um, as a kind of framework for uh, making video uh, may not have anything to do with why you're looking at them. My reasons may go into very abstract territory about what are the constituent elements of a narrative and how few of them do you need to actually make someone feel as if they've heard a story. You may not have told a story, but there is a situation um, that evolves through time that, that in, in some manner may remind you of of a story or of something that you remember.